Welcome back to the first surprise Suma race stream, courtesy of Shoki Explained or Time Zombie. And without further ado, uh, let's just get into it, shall we? Let's start a timed run. All right, let's see how that looks on the overlay. Not entirely terrible, but it would look better if the timers overlapped each other. So one second while we fix that. And yeah, I think that'll work. Cool. Um, yeah. So here, this is a collection of 196 problems. And this collection is being solved. I don't know how many participants there are. Um, but yeah, a lot of people are solving this collection. So, uh, the idea is that an hour ago the race started, and uh, the person hosting this claims that they're super slow at these. So we're going to see if we can hold them to their word. Um, I spent part of today putting together these beautiful wooden pieces. I created a user style so that I could uh, use the wooden pieces instead of having to use the pieces that were built into the site. Ran into a couple glitches with that, but that's okay. Got through it. And I'm not super great at solving these, so I'm not in any great hurry. But, yeah, the idea is that if you are good at these, you could just quickly blast through all 196 of these. Um, so my impulse here is to play Rook to 1-2, which is a bit unwise, because that results in the king moving back out toward the center, Actually, this lance captures this. Never mind. So where's the king go after rook 1-2? So rook promotes and protects the silver. I was under the impression that these are all checkmate in 3 problems. Uh, this looks like a checkmate in 1. I'm really not seeing... Yeah. I got that incorrect. And that just moves us on to the next problem. And we'll eventually come back and revisit that one. Maybe once we've warmed up a bit. I don't know. So the bishop could retreat and promote, and this would invite the king to run out a bit. And I don't see what you would do next. Usually the first move of a solution is some sort of... Oh, we got a rook to sacrifice. Lovely. This reinforces my point that... Hey, if you got something to sacrifice, now's a good time. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, though. Like, where would I sacrifice a rook to greatest effect in this position? Oh, that's cute. Um, that's a mess and a half. Rook drop here. And then this promotion... Yeah, that's beautiful. All right, let's. What more can I do? And we have two pieces, so since this is a checkmate in three, like I think most of these are, we're gonna sacrifice a piece on turn one. But where? Um. Hmm. We sack it here. If uh, this piece takes it, then we drop a gold here and that's mate. If the king takes it, we drop a gold there and it's mate. So, oh, if, what if the gold takes it? Then our horse covers the square and we can drop another piece to mate. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Conventionally, it's a standard or convention that a player, uh, in a good puzzle, a player empties all the pieces that are on the piece stand by convention. That's how we know it's a good puzzle. So 
that's why in general if there's a lot of pieces in the hand i'll try to play them early on in the solution even though they in a real game you might not do that because it's kind of crazy um hmm i am stumped It'd be one thing if I had another piece here, but I don't. Also, you can see this is something of a focal point where all their pieces, like the horse, the silver, and the king, all attack the square. So we know it's a focal point for the attack. Um, so generally, we think that's where we consider sacrificing something, but that seems not to have any impact here. Um, hmm. Yeah, also we like to sacrifice pieces that aren't silvers and golds. Uh, so like a rook, generally it's hard to checkmate using the rook in this sort of setting. So you would look at moves that sacrifice the rook. Hmm. What about silver here? Horse takes, rook takes, mate. Silver here. King runs away. Oh, horse there, mate. Silver here. Um, oh, king takes is not an option. King takes rook here is an option. Um, but then the horse mates, yeah. Cool. And futile interposition, that is, they if they were to block with random pieces out of their hand and you could just take it, take it, take it, etc., that's not considered um, a move in terms of the solution. So... Um, so yeah, that was a checkmate in three moves that we just solved there. Hmm. Yep. All right, let's have some tea. Mint tea is quite good. I'm not seeing nothing here. Like, I'm inclined to... If we take a piece, then we'll have two pieces in hand, and then that'll make this a bad problem. So we're going to have to find some move that sacrifices the piece. Um, horse 2-2. Two, two. Seems to mate in all lines. That's really cool. Never seen that particular pattern before. T is good. All right. So we got a dragon and one one, and a bishop on two one. Um. And if we do bishop to three two promotion, king runs to five one, and there's no mate. Um. I see bishop 4-3, king 5-1, and then the silver moves, and the dragon's checkmated by accident. But what about, like, if they just take the bishop? Then there's nothing. So that's not the solution. Silver 3-2. 
uh, has to promote in order to check. King 4 3. Silver 3 3, mate. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, that seems to be it. And then this moves out of the way. And either promotes or does not promote. Does not matter with our checkmate. All right. Um. Hmm. Okay, nothing in hand this time. Hmm. Don't know. Oh, that's kind of... Wait. Hmm. There's a lot going on in this position. If silver takes knight promotion... How does the king escape that? Let's double check. King 3-3. Three, three. It's overkill. It really is. I don't see anything wrong with it, though. What's the difference between silver takes knight and silver 3-3? Three, three? I need to know. Because to me, they both look like mate. Oh, they take on... They take the silver on one three. No, they can't. Um, oh, king three two is the difference. All right. Yeah. Fooled me. All right. Cool. Um, oh, I thought I saw something. If I'm ever going to catch up with other folks, I have to play quickly. But I don't think I'm going to quickly catch up. Um. Hmm. Why not rook 3 3? King takes. T uh, no. King 4 4, and there's no mate. That's why not. Um, rook 3 2. If bishop takes, then what? Yeah, there's no mate if bishop takes. Rook 1, 4. Same deal, no mate. Uh, rook 4, 4. Still no mate. No, wait. You yeah, know, actually, rook 4, 4, pawn takes, knight 3, 3, mate. So, rook 4, 4, king takes, bishop 3, 3, mate. Rook 4-4, four, four, silver takes, and the uh, bishop moves 2-4 me. Cool. Alright, what next? Um, let's... 
Yeah, we're going to add a tag to our live stream competitive. Forgot to add that. Um, so this king is surrounded. We have this threatened discovery. Oh, well, that's doesn't work the same way as in chess. Does not at all work the same way as chess. So what have we to look forward to here? Um, oh, well, that's kind of cool. And I thought I saw a solution for this. Oh, wait. I'm confused. I was going to assume rook 3-5 pins this pawn. They block with... Oh, then we take the thing they block with. Okay. Cool. Um, it's obviously sacrificing here, because otherwise they wouldn't have let you do it. Some of these... Wait. But that actually doesn't work. Bishop drop, Lance takes, there's no mate. Alright. Gotta try something different. Um, Bishop 1-1? One, one? Yeah, looks right. That's cool. But incorrect. And I don't have any idea why. But I guess we'll get that the next time we go around. I wish I could reattempt the problem very easily. But there's just not a way. Um. Hmm. So what's wrong with Dragon 4-5? Uh, where does the king even go? 2-3. Alright, so... If the dragon approaches, the king runs away one way or the other. That's the problem we're trying to solve here. Oh. There we go. Oh, I have to promote there, maybe? I have no idea. Again, this is what happens when I try to pick up the pace and fail. Um... Because I would like to catch up with some of the other folks doing this. There we go. But also, I didn't start the race at the same time as them. Because I know... Um, I don't know. This idea of there being a public race and wanting folks to participate is cool. And I want to enhance that cool factor by live streaming my attempt, but also recognize that, like, I'm going to have fewer viewers than anyone else. Because um, I start late, and because, um, I don't know, just having a contest live streamed tends to send all the viewers over to one channel. Um, it's just how it is. Alright, how the hell do we checkmate this? I'm not seeing it at all. It'd be one thing if we had a knight in hand that might actually wouldn't help at all. Um, 
I mean, bishop 2-2 two, two or bishop 1-3 both come to mind. But I don't see either of them checkmating. Hmm. Oh, that's because those don't checkmate. The solution is we sack the rook here and then checkmate with the bishop over there. That's tricky. Um, it's going to be this, right? So I'd only looked at horse takes and then dragon 3-2 mate. But rationalize that this is the only way there could be a checkmate. Um, so now I have to find the mate in this line. I have no idea. Mate in one. I have no idea. King is surrounded. Oh, so any checkmates then? Because the king's surrounded and the pieces that can defend are all pinned. So blocking the check is illegal. Let's see, that's just mate. Um, hmm. So I want the mating move to be bishop 6-4. For that to be made, the square's got to be covered somehow. Why isn't bishop 6-4 right now? Checkmate. I don't understand. Why do I have to sack the dragon for this bishop 6-4 to be made? My understanding can't be right. Like, why don't I just go there directly? Oh, because then they block the check. And then if I capture, the king can run away. It's this way or that way. So that's why we have to do this crazy looking sacrifice first. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. Part of the reason I chose to participate in this particular contest is because I thought the puzzles would not be too difficult for me. I think that's accurate. Most puzzles are too difficult. So this is like clearly just horse 3-6, right? No, because the king escapes at 1-7. Us, if we were trying to invert the move order... King takes the rook, and then horse 4-5, king 2-4, so that's not mate either. Um, there are so many non-checkmating moves. How does one even start to solve this? Hmm. 
someday I'd like to see some sort of problem solver that um what am I trying to think about that is well adapted to normal problems and then just watch it fail in the most spectacular manner on non-standard problems um because yeah the guidelines for these puzzles are just so hard to follow Oh, silver 1-5 perhaps. So it's like everything else doesn't work. This has to be the move. Yeah. There we go. Um, something crazy like bishop 1-2, right? It's always the crazy move. Why would bishop 1-2 even help here? Because once the king gets in the corner, there's no checkmating it. No. That ain't right. With chess, you think about which pieces you have and use them to orchestrate the mate. With shogi, you think about the king and how to surround it. And don't worry so much about each piece that you have. Uh, it's all backwards. So, it's just quite the learning experience, quite the shock, really. Um, it's Bishop 3-3, three, three, right? Cool. All right, so what now? Hmm. So the silver on 1-3 is not defended. And if I sack a rook here, the silver is still not going to be defended. And I'd have to, like, defend the silver and checkmate at once. Huh, maybe that's possible. It sounds like a miracle, but... Rook 2-4, rook takes, silver takes. Fine. Rook 2 4, King 3 3, and then what? Really, uh, that doesn't look right. Oh, wait. No, then. Okay. Yeah. I missed some detail, and 100 something problems later, we're going to come back and figure out what that detail was, unless we give up first. Um. And each problem we fail, the odds of our giving up seem to increase. <laughs> because, um, while we have, may be in good spirits now, 196 problems is probably about 150 too many. Okay, I misread that. I thought Rook 3 3 was going to do it, but thankfully, there's still a correct solution in this position because pieces promote peace promotions complicate everything with these puzzles okay it's got to be like rook one three because that's where all the people where these three defenders are focused if lance takes there's got to be one mate if knight takes it's a different mate right why would i even need to sack the rook well because if i promote directly here that's yeah um, there we go.
it's one another one of these bishop two one sorts of things right where you just do a crazy piece sack and hope it works where's the bishop two three i don't know silver two three probably no Um, hmm, this is tricky. Silver four three, no, man, everything I can think of is nowhere near. The silver covers the 4-3 square, and if the silver were deflected out to 2-3, then bishop dropped their wood mate. But the problem with dropping the silver here is that what if king takes? Oh, there's a different mate. Okay. Now, why do I have to drop it? Oh, right. That's why the rook's there. I see. That's how a unique solution is guaranteed. Very funny. All right. So. All right. I have no idea how far in we are. I've lost count. The interface doesn't keep count for you. Um. Hmm. So if we sack on 4-3, king takes 3-2, there's like nothing, right? Yeah. How else could we try to sack the rook? I don't know. I have no idea. What's up here? It's got to be a rook sack, no? I mean, what else? Oh, we could sack the horse. That could do it. And then this actually mates. Incredible to see Rook drop mate, but there it is. Don't expect to see that ever again in this problem set. Um, so I want to move the dragon out of the way and then move this to 4 1 and call it checkmate. Um, except that's not at all how this works. Because. Yeah, if we were to sack this on 4-3, dragon takes, promote, king 3-3. Three, three. That's a slight problem. What if we change up the move order, sack the silver here with promotion? It seems to work. Yeah. Well, that's nuts. Double checkmate. And if dragon takes, rook 5-3 mate. Um, hmm. Wait. Okay, this one looks relatively straightforward compared to every other... Pro oh, yeah, it's always the ones that look easy that are deceptively difficult. Um, oh, okay, I see the hidden difficulty here. But no, this still does it. And if knight takes, we would have made it on 1 3 instead with the rook. Um, instead, here, this moves down. Why is there a unique solution? Why is that unique? It's not. Oh, I'm sorry. All right.
Um. Wait. Every problem is more confusing than the previous one. So. I see, like, silver 3-4, king takes rook 2-3, promote mate. I see that. What's up with silver 1-4? Is this another one of those block on 2-3 takes? It's not mate, but it is. So I, what's the difference between silver 3-4 and silver 1-4? That's what I don't get. Hmm. There's some difference, but what? Oh. Oh, I see. Okay. Wait. Yes, it's going to be a non-promotion move. But no, still, what's the difference? Because bishop takes 2-1, bishop 2-3 is mate both directions. Oh, maybe it is silver 1-4. Yeah. Well, that's funny. Okay, that works. Um Hmm. That felt too easy, and it was, but I have no idea what the right move was, so I guessed one. And I guessed wrong, like I usually do. Uh, that's weird. That is so weird. How can there be a mate here? I don't get it. Oh, maybe we move the rook to 3-3 three, three instead of 3-2. Um, but then what if knight takes? Oh, it's the same mate both ways. Probably. Yeah, jeez. Um, lots of pieces here. Hmm. 
what to do. If we take something, it's not an ideal mate. So capture is very likely incorrect. But uh, if we don't take something, there just can't be a mate here. Dragon takes lands, king takes, and then we can't secure the 2-4 square anymore. Every move has to be check. So the only check that doesn't take something is silver 3-4. Promotion or non-promotion, either way. But then the king escapes. Like, very obviously so. How can there be an ideal mate here? Is it going to be dragon takes lance after all? Even though that's not an ideal mate. Wait, is it even a checkmate? It's got to be mate. No, because the king goes back here. That's that's not mate. Um, no, the silver could move to three squares without taking something. Let's, I guess, consider all three, even though it looks insane. Um... All right, we've considered. <laughs> There's no point. Um, Yeah, I don't get it. How could this be made in three? Oh. Oh, that is tricky. I forget that pieces promote when you move them. That's not something we deal with in chess. Yeah, suddenly the rest of the pieces make sense. Jeez. Um... So why is this not bishop takes pawn promoting the bishop? I guess the answer is that a pawn drop would extend the solution beyond three moves. Um, so what could it be? I don't know.
Maybe we set a time limit of, for ourselves of two hours on this stuff. Because this, there's a potential that this could go on for an extremely long period of time. And I'm not prepared for that. I don't think any of us are. So, like, unless I get suddenly much better at this, it looks like I might not be solving the entire collection today. Which, in turn, probably means I'm dropping out of the race at some point. There's a lot of pieces in this puzzle. Each one has a special purpose, no doubt. So, one... wait, no. I was going to say a variation was silver, 1-4, pawn takes, bishop, 3-4. Like, everything about that is incorrect. Um, I've been looking repeatedly at bishop, 1-4, king, 3-4, and just realizing there's nothing there. Um, well, no, the bishop could promote here, but the silver is not defended, so there's no point to it. Oh, the bishop could retreat, and if something blocks the check, bishop moves here, check, that's not, a drop there would not be futile. Um, this is so weird. I see Bishop 1, 6. They do a futile drop. We take the futile drop. King moves. We move the rook with checkmate. No, it's not mate, though. So they drop on 2-5 if rook takes king 3-4. And there's no mate by moving a rook. If we move the rook, king goes to 4-5. So there's no mate there. So it's not bishop 1-6. I've been trying to make silver 2-4 work because it looks so crazy. But... I don't see anything reasonable after king takes. Yeah, another aspect of this race that's kind of unfortunate is it starts mid-afternoon for me. So I can't spend all day on it. Um, if the race had a different start time, maybe I could have considered devoting more of the day to it. But um, yeah, it cuts like right into dinner at some point. Yeah, I'm just super confused on this. So like, Silver 3-3... Three, three, Looks absolutely ridiculous. King takes, and there's no mate, because there's no way to cover the 4-4 square. So you have to rule that out. So it's got to be either a silver move with the 1-5 silver, or we have to move the bishop up from 2-5. So the next thing that comes to mind is like bishop 1-4, which has the problem that you can't defend 4-4 while also preventing the king from escaping to 4-5. Unless you were to do bishop 3-6 instead. And then if king 3-4, rook 2-4 would be mate. But after bishop 3-6, they drop on 2-5. And you don't have mate in 1. I guess... Maybe they consider that a futile drop and they don't allow it. 
I don't know. So yeah, the king moves, but this problem might be flawed. Because I'm not sure that a drop would be considered a futile drop. I don't know. Like, if they dropped on 2-5, isn't that delaying the checkmate in some meaningful way? If I were to take on 2-5 and then king 3-4... There's something about this I didn't understand when I played this, but I still don't understand what I missed. I expected they'd had to drop on 2-5, so I'm trying to solve that right now, even though clearly I just moved the rook right here and it's mate. But why can't they drop on 2-5? I'm not satisfied. Why doesn't that extend the mate? Oh, cause... No? Yeah, okay, so the, the rook is the mating piece in all the variations. Um, where the king moves up. Okay, yeah, so it is a futile drop. So that's why it's not allowed there. Okay. That was weird. Man, I want to, like, checkmate using one of the knights here. Um, I want the mate move to be with the knight, but that's... Okay, it's got to be knight 4-2, because, like, everything is set up for it. Knight 4-2... No, just kidding. Um... That was a gold 2-1? No, because... Is it knight 2-3? Might be knight 2-3. Silver takes gold drop mate. Pawn takes gold drop mate. Yeah, it's knight 2-3. No promotion. Oh, and then here it's this gold drop mate. Okay. Maybe we're getting better. Maybe not. This looks like the focal point for a four. This is where I want to sack the bishop. But I'm immediately flooded with doubt that this sack is no good. Um, but, like, actually reading out variations... No, it's just instantly winning. Um, so we play it. And how did I miss this variation? I just... Oh, wait, no, I didn't miss this. I read that earlier and discarded it that quickly because... Yeah, okay. That was the first variation I read and I forgot about it. That's what convinced me to look further at the very... Or the candidate move. Um, Alright, this is going to be some dumb rook sack. It's always a dumb rook sack. But what which dumb rook sack is it this time? Is it not? Is it knight 3 1? Can't be because that loses the 4 3 square. It can't be knight 3 1. Um. Hmm. Oh, the rook doesn't have to cover these squares. So the rook just retreats to here. Then after a futile interposition, bishop takes promotion. No, then the rook's lost this square. That's right. So the rook can't lose the third rank. Um, hmm. Or if the rook loses the third rank, there better be a really good explanation as to why. And I'm not seeing it. 
Knight three one. If king takes the I mean, it's obvious. If dragon takes no idea. Still no idea. Hmm. <laughs> if took in two two King four one, there's absolutely nothing there. We'd need another no. <laughs> Even one more piece in hand wouldn't be enough there. We'd need something. Um, hmm. All my candidate moves that remain are all rip moves, but we know that the rip moves don't work. But we also know that all the other moves aren't check, or the checking moves, all two of them don't work. So it's kind of an impossible situation. It has to be a rook move. And there's only 10 of them to consider, and most of them are pretty dumb. I'm confused. Maybe this is the problem we give up on and stop the race at. Because, <laughs> like, there's six pieces. And if I can't solve this with six pieces, how can I solve the ones that have so many more? I mean, yeah, sometimes more pieces is a lot easier, but this. This is something. What the hell? Yeah, the key problem with, like, Rook 1-3 is they drop a pawn on 2-3, and if Rook takes, or Dragon takes, then there's King 4-1. But maybe the drop on 2-3 would be considered a futile drop? And not permitted? I'm never... Sometimes it's difficult to understand what drops are considered futile and what ones aren't. Um, I wouldn't consider after rook 1-3 a drop on 2-3 to be futile. Unless, yeah, I don't see it. Because after king 4-1, I don't see a mate. Not even close. So then we keep turning back to rook 3-3, three, three, and there's, I mean, this forces a king move. The king takes the rook, and there's clearly not enough material left to mate. Oh... Oh, jeez. Dragon takes. This is mate. Because pieces change their powers when they promote. That always gets me. That's... Yep. Just have to watch out for that. That's so uncommon. But so powerful. Um...
All right, like rook two three is the obnoxious move here. And because it's so obnoxious, it's got to be correct. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, wait. Is this, like, the first easy problem in the set? Because <laughs> all I want to do is put this dragon where the other rook is. So to do that, you just move this out of the way and then put the other one there. The problem, you would think, would be that what about the horse? Oh, no, what about the king taking here? Um, I'm not... Oh, actually, yeah. Uh, I just had a high degree of confidence that there would be something here, but there actually is, so it's too cute. Mm -hmm. Some of these solutions and problems are a bit too cute. That gives away like how you actually solve them when the solution looks like that. All right, so what now? We, there's a lot of candidate moves here, but almost all of them allow king four three and therefore can be immediately dismissed. Um, if knight 2-2, two, two, king 4-3, there's almost certainly not a mate. Yeah, there can't be a mate there. So the first thing I wanted to start looking at after I threw out all the other suggestions or candidates would have been silver 4-1, no promotion. Which, at face value, looks stupid and it's... Because it is. Because King 4 3 escapes. How about Silver 3 3? No promotion. If Bishop takes. Fuck, I don't know. <laughs> A Bishop takes, then Knight 4 2 mate. If King takes. And Knight 4 2 mate. There, that's really cute. It's too cute. That's why we keep finding these things, because all the solutions are cute. But yeah, silver 3 3, bishop takes, uh, knight 4 2, mate. Silver 3 3, um, and king takes. I have no idea. King's threatening to escape to 4 4. Yeah, it's just not a good situation. I am stumped again. Rook one two, king four three. There ain't nothing here. Mm. So, it would be nice if somehow, 
and a silver three three king takes. There's got to be something here, right? Do we do knight four two mate anyway? Is that actually mate? Yeah, because a drop is futile because we have the rook on one four. Okay, that's the whole premise, and I completely missed it. Oh, right, so do we promote or not promote? I think we have to promote. Correct. There we go. Rook drop somewhere dumb, right? It's always rook drop somewhere dumb. I don't think I've seen this before, but it looks like some uh, we've seen. Um, hmm. <laughs> Someday, though, I've got to start collecting ugly Suma Shogi problems. Ones that, um, the solution just adds more pieces to the hand. Um, is just like some really straightforward attacking idea with none of these sacrifices. Or it might look like a sacrifice is going to work, but the sacrifice fails and you need to do the obvious move instead. <laughs> like, I could see creating a set of ugly problems. Just to over uh to offset the amazing um just how many beautiful problems there are. There's gotta be some ugly ones out there too to balance it out. Alright, so silver everywhere are our candidate moves. But probably silver three five protecting the knight. That's our top candidate. Or silver 3-3, three, three, no promotion. Looks like a really good candidate. Um, yeah, actually, silver 3-3, three, three, no promote mates instantly. So let's just do it. Knight takes, and then rook drop their mate. Alright. What now? Um, all right, so I mentioned, like, oh, never mind, I was going to start trying to scroll through the list and see where we're at, but, um, the way I've set up this overlay, that's not really feasible. We are somewhere. We're in a glass case of emotion. <laughs> um, Wait, is it just silver 1-5? Silver 1-5, they take the rook. Gold here, mate. Yeah. No, oh, I got it wrong. <laughs> no idea how. I tried. I sat there looking at it for like three minutes, and I still got it wrong. And I have no idea what's wrong about it. 
what do we know? This is, really looks like silver sack on one or four one because it just looks too fun to not do. Um, but why would we sack there? If king takes took in two two, um, oh, actually, is mate. I didn't think it was, but no, that's mate. Because the silver on 4-2 is pinned, so it doesn't offer support for a block or inner position on 3-1. Um, so what now? Hmm. The 3-3 three, three square seems to be a key to this problem. And one that I seem to have no way to defend. Um, well, bishop 1-4 would offer a way to defend it. Um, bishop 4-3 promotion could defend it. But then where would the mate come from? Right, if the bishop were to go back to 2-5, then there'd be no mate. Um, hmm. Oh. All right, so there are two paths for the bishop to get to 2-3, and one of them is somehow better than the other. And our task is to figure out which is better. Um, yeah, so bishop 3-4 is better because if king takes, we have mate in one. And if they take there, then we promote the bishop, and this is also checkmate. Um, is this my, that my style of problem? Just burn it with fire until it dies? Yeah. Do we promote here? Yes. Yes, absolutely we promote. Yeah, there we go. That's my kind of problem. Apply force until it's the game ends. Um, hmm. And I kind of wish it were silver two five. Kind of, but no, it's got to be some dumb rook sack. Um, it's always a dumb rook sack. Yeah. There's just so many problems where you just sack the rook on move one. And that's how you know it's a checkmate. Um. So. Is this king sandwiched in here? No, the king is able to go to 2-3. So if this bishop moves, king 2-3 is an option. Uh, And I don't get it. Bishop 1 5 is a unique move. Because, like, all these other bishop moves landed on the same diagonal. And I don't see anything interesting about that. Bishop 1 5 puts down a unique square. Um.
or I guess it's defending this. If this gets taken, then what? Then there's nothing. Hmm. It'd be funny if, like, silver 2-5 were the answer. But there's no way, because this knight would be hanging. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. So we want to surround the king. So to do that, we promote this. And then if the pawn had taken, this um, bishop would move up here, I think, double promo or promoting such that there are two checks at once and the double check is checkmate. This way, the knight covers the square up here, so the bishop promotion is still double check, and the king has nowhere to go. So that's tricky. Um, so now what? Well, that's not a rook, that's a silver. I was considering rook here, rook there, mate. Um, but that's the wrong piece. Okay, wait a second. This mates, right? Let's check. Yeah, that's mate. Woo! We got one. There's a, ro a dragon over here. Our dragon over there. And silver. So, like, you'd think you'd want to, like, line up the king here somehow. I don't see how to force that to happen. <laughs> this is a really goofy problem. There's a monkey wrench here. So this could block the dragon, and if silver takes, bishop 1-7 is mate, right? Yeah. So that's got to be the main line. But, like, why this? Surely there's other moves. Oh, okay. So many variations, but yeah, they all work in their own dumb little ways. Yeah, or actually two variations. There's um, the silver takes and there's dragon takes, where you checkmate with the bishop the other way. That's pretty funny. Um... Rook 2-1, I don't know. Wait, Rook 2-3? Yeah, Rook 2-3 they take. Oh god. Oh wait, no, this is definitely mate. Yeah. And yeah, this is promotion with mate. Um, okay, our Rook is hanging, so the Rook is going to be the piece that checkmates here. Wait, silver 3-3, three, three, no promotion. King takes. Then what? Nothing. <laughs> There's no mate there. Wait, no, there is. The bishop goes to 2-4. Um, promotes? Doesn't promote? Either way. Um, jeez. Alright, here we got a lance and a bishop, so clearly we just sack something here if king takes it, that's mate. This is... we got all these goofy problems in a row. But what if the silver takes? Um... Where's the mate then? Is it either of these squares? Does it matter? Well, it's not made, actually. <laughs> um, so that's a little detail. But, you know, if it were made, it would be made. Um, but, no. Bishop 4 2 check, silver takes, removes all our fun. So we need something else.
Wait, could, no. That'd be so wild if it, if the move were something like a horse to 2-4. Just bucking the trend of sack, sack, mate. Instead, just saying we're going to put the horse on a path to get it to 4-2. No, but that doesn't work. Check on 4-2 would not be made. Um, okay, what about horse 6-4? If a piece blocks, there's not a mate. We'd need another piece. Um, so yeah, my initial idea of, like, bishop 4-2 check, trying to line something up doesn't, doesn't seem to make, because silver takes, but it can't be anything else either. We just don't have enough just lined up here. Oh wait, I missed something. Yeah, silver takes, and then this is our pawn, so we could play this horse 3-5 mate. Yeah, and this is the more obvious of the two lines. Double check mates. Alright. Um... I'm confused. So if we take this, the knight takes, and then if we move this even away, they just block and there's no mate. Um, we have three pieces in this. That's not a lot to work with. Oh, I've seen this problem before. Okay. So yeah, we surround the king. And then we checkmate it. And a block is taken by our bishop because the dragon guards that same square. I've seen that one before. That one's not so bad. Um, yeah. I don't know. We could play a rook down here and promote it or something. Doesn't seem to get very far. Um, hmm. Rook one four, king takes, horse moves somewhere, is not mate. Is it? Oh, it is mate. Never mind. Yeah, if it's mate, we don't need to find anything better. That works. Um, press X to doubt. The first move has to be check, so like silver one one with promotion would not be checked. So if we do silver 1-1, it cannot be a promotion move. It'd be silver 1-1, no promotion. And if king takes, then knight 3-2, it's double check. And then king takes 1-1, one, one, and we cry. Um, so we saw that first. That'd be the typical mating motif in this position, and it doesn't work. Another idea would be Lance 3-2. Um, what can the 
puzzle do? If horse takes, knight takes his mate. No, it's not. All right. Um. Hmm. You note how in all these problems we're never capturing anything. And that tends to be an enormous clue that in all these beautiful problems like we can achieve our end through means without uh, having to capture or anything. Um, so yeah, how do you cover the 1-3 square? That's the key of this problem. Oh, silver of 2-3. Uh, silver 2-3, king takes bishop. Yeah, actually that works. Oh, uh, wait, do I promote the silver on 2-3 or not? It matters, doesn't it? I think I promote it. In all these problems, it always matters what the first move is. So what's the difference between not promoting it and promoting it? Um, we lose access to the 1-4 square, which we're not using anyway. As opposed to the 1-3 square. Oh, right. Um, wait, now I'm confusing myself. How it can't be that both silver two three promote and non promote both work. None of these problems work this way. Um, and I keep forgetting I have to make this decision each time I try to solve a problem. Let's see, is my overlay looking weird yet? Uh, okay, you can see the white box of the timer there, but you can't see the digits randomly scrolling through it. So the digits are... Um, well, yeah, it's okay. In my mind, it looks like some of the digits on the screen. Um, in the web browser are oscillating left and right slightly, but it's hard to get good fixed with fonts that look beautiful. But yeah, it's got to be silver 2-3. I just can't figure out would you promote on 2-3 or not. And the question is, like, do you want to control 1-4 or do you want to control 1-3? Um, that would only matter in a line there's like king one three is the first move um it doesn't seem to matter though i'm so confused Well, if either way, I guess king takes bishop is an issue, but no, then the knight promotes on 1-2, and that's mate. Um, can this really have two solutions? Silver 2-3 promote and silver 2-3 without promotion? The only difference could be if somehow the 1-4 square came into play, or the 3-4 square came into play, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Maybe this problem was automatically generated and not 
manually verified later. Yeah, if we promote clearly, king takes is forced. Um, oh, and the king takes is not, there's no mate to follow, is there? Um, no, if king takes, then bishop won two mates. Um, yeah. I don't get it. I'm going to assume there are two solutions. I still don't understand. Somebody else is going to have to explain to me what happened there. Or I'm going to have to spend more time verifying it with an engine or something. Because that ain't right. <laughs> At least by the etiquette of most of these problems that doesn't follow the convention. And we've been using this convention to help us guess the solutions, so be good for us to understand what the convention is if it changes. Um, okay, is this something dumb like Rook 1-3? Hmm. Rook 1-3 is a little too dumb. Rook 3-2? No. Rook 2-3 gives the opponent an option. Uh, wait, no, that's double check. I guess the option is do they take the silver or do they take, or do they go to 1-4? But no, if we rook 2-3 with double check with promotion, then they don't actually have much of an option. Wait, isn't rook 2-3 mate in 1? Isn't rook 2-3 checkmate on the move? So how's this mate in 3 if this is mate in 1? I don't get it. Oh, they take our pawn. That's our pawn. You can't double pawns in Shogi. That's our pawn. So, okay, that's the difference here. So, silver 2-3. If Lance takes, then we promote on... Um, Three, four, double check. Oh, and because it's promotion, it's mate. Uh, silver, two, three, promote. If the king runs, there's got to be a mate somehow. There always is. But, um, hmm. It's not quite right. If Lance takes there as a mate, but the king could run to like one of three different squares. If king won four, then clearly rook three four promote his mate. King won five. Oh, I guess, yeah, promotion, there's no futile interposition. But king two five, then what? Oh, wait. Now back to king 1-4 then. There's no feudal interposition, but they could take the rook on 3-4. Hmm. That's an issue. So do we do silver 2-5? Silver 2-5, king 1-5, yeah, that mates. Oh, I missed this, but yeah, thankfully the same rook promotion works even, yeah, next to that. All right. Yeah, I guess the two hour limit's good. We're not gonna get this done at two hours. But I want to set a limit somewhere such that I don't do this all day and all night because um, we need to sleep, we need to be productive tomorrow. So.
So what can we consider here? I mean, rook 3-2 is the first thing that comes to mind, but that doesn't actually sack the rook. Um, hmm. Also, rook 4-3 comes to mind, but that doesn't usefully sack the rook. Because all the checks we can do on the next... Well, yeah, actually, all the square... <laughs> that's interesting. Uh, rook here, if this silver takes, knight 3-2 promotion is made. The problem is, if this silver takes on 4-3 then knight 3-2 promotion is double check, but the king goes out to 3-4. Oh, but then we have horse here mate. All right. Oh, and this, I guess we have this mate, hopefully. Even though we didn't see it, it's there. It's good that the problem's got us covered, because I didn't see that. <laughs> um, Now, if this is mate in three, we can't just, like, Bishop 2 1, drop the lance here and pretend we have a, a really quick mate there afterward. We have to actually mate in 3 here. So. It's also tempting to think the first move has to be a lance sacrifice, or no, a sacrifice of some sort. Um. But yeah, bishop 2, 1, king takes, lance here, any lance promotes is not mate, because the king escapes to 1, 3. So, um, knight 2, 2, king takes, we cry, no mate. Um, bishop 4, 3. Interesting. Honestly, the most fun looking move is bishop 2 3 promotion. They block with the bishop, then. No, they. But. Ah. Uh... No. Okay. We'd be stuck with the lance in hand if we promoted this way. And the lance couldn't checkmate. The checkmating move is going to be dropping the lance somewhere. That's just how this works. Um, yeah, okay. So for that to work, we have to promote here. And then the lance and the bishop cooperate to mate. Um, it's beautiful and maddening. And I've seen it before. Something quite similar. So, based on which silver takes, if the king takes, the silver could go either direction to mate. But now, based on which silver takes, this goes, this retreats, and mates accordingly. It's a very good illustration. Very good problem. Alright, does this one buck the trend? Is this like silver drop? No, the king escaped. No, the king can't escape to the front. Silver drop. King retreats, silver takes here is not mate. Alright, so. Gotta find some way to mate the king. Oh. Wait. Silver 1 2, king 2 2, then what? Okay, yeah, there's captures in lines in this problem. But there is a line where there's where we don't capture. So it's still a valid problem from an etiquette perspective. Alright. I don't know if this is a bishop sack on move one or if the bishop drop is going to be made. But it's almost always a bishop sack. Um... Almost always bishop sack. So the first thing that comes to mind is bishop 3-4. And then they have two ways to take it on 3-4. And... Wait, do we have different double checks or something based on how they take it? 
Is that the motif? That if rook takes, then silver 4 2, no promotion. And if bishop takes, then fuck, I don't know. <laughs> rook on 2 3 is attacked, and if bishop takes. Um, oh, but then the silver can take down here. Mm -hmm. Maddening, this is. <sighs> okay, first of all, if we drop the bishop here, king takes on 5-3. There's just absolutely nothing we can do there. So that's just completely, utterly incorrect. As much as we want it to be the answer, it's just not going to be this time. Um, what else could be here? Um, we could move this silver to lose our rook, and depending how the rook is dealt with, uh, we might have things we could do. I don't know. It's just an ever-expanding kaleidoscope of variations here. Instead of something that narrows down to a neat solution. Um... What could it be? Well, we got 20 minutes left. Again, just to save our time and energy. 190-something problems is too many for one sitting. After the first hour, you stop learning anyway. That's why lectures and meetings and so forth well, meetings stop being productive after a shorter duration, but still. Oh, we could drop this on 2-5. If they block with the bishop, then promote the... No, yeah, we promote the silver if they block the bishop. If rook takes, we move our silver somewhere else and double check or something? No, not quite. This is so weird. Wait, is it really bishop 3-4? If rook takes, silver promotes over here. And silver covers the 3-2 square, even though I keep thinking it doesn't. It does. So if rook takes. But if bishop takes, then that's threatening this rook. Um... But then there can't be any useful interposition on 3 3 is the point, I suppose. So. I'm not sure how that plays <clears throat> into the price of tea in China or something, but. Um, yeah, like. What could it be? It's got to be some. Silly. Oh, plus the knight's here, so it can't possibly be a bishop drop here, because the knight would just take it. So the bishop, if it does drop, would drop here. If it's a bishop drop. Um, but I don't see what the solution could be other than that, because our rook is hanging. Let's go with it, because I'm going to lose my mind here. Um, and this is the critical variation. And I just couldn't figure this out. It's the idea here that now we promote the silver on 4-2. But wouldn't that also work if the rook takes? 
No, either way that doesn't work because king five three. Um This is mate in one by the rules of the problem. But I don't see it. Like, I found the focal point where all three of their pieces are attacking that square. And any one of those three, in theory, could take it. But, um, yeah, I this left me stumped. This is the solution, but... And this is mate in one. Silver 4-2 promotion. Actually mates here. Because that's double check, and the king has nowhere to go. Likewise, if rook takes the double check, and the king still has nowhere to go. So why not king takes on move one? What's the deal there? Um, oh, then the silver would promote backwards. All right, so double check is pretty special in this game. Jeez. All right, we got it. Um, so, silver 3-2, double check. I mean, we could do single check, too. Single check might be more effective. Um, the king takes the pawn, and when we cry, is that correct? That sounds correct. Um, it's so confusing. So this here, promotion, king takes it, and then what? Or king takes here, and then what? Uh, yeah. If we promote, and if the king goes here, rook 3-3 rook three, three promotion is not mate, because king 4-5. You have a lot of material, but that's not mate. Um... Rook 4 1. You have no idea. Ten minutes to go. I mean, I guess another candidate could be 3 3 promotion, but then King takes silver on 5 3, and there's absolutely nothing there. Um, wait, could our candidate be silver 1 4? Yes, if the king takes, then rook 2 5 promotion mates. Um, if they take our rook here after silver 1 4, then rook 2 3 promotion mates. No promote. Promote. Jeez. All right. Um. Hmm. Rook three three looks like a fun thing to try. Uh, rook three three bishop takes and then what? Oh, we mate in all lines. Never mind. There's not a whole lot. Well, hang on. Uh, bishop takes horse 3, 2, king 1, 2 is not mate. We don't have the 1, 2 square covered. Got to be a little more careful. Um, can't give up the 1, 4 square. Can't give up the 1, 2 square. 
Rook three three seems to cut the difference, but after Bishop takes, we've given up a lot of squares. <laughs> It'd be cool if we could just move this Rook over to one three. They would take and then move the horse down to 3-2 and call it mate. Doesn't work that way, but it'd be cool if it did. Um, rook 1-2 promotion, king 3-4 is illegal because we have silver here. Um, so yeah, they take here and then we pr move our horse down there. And the king runs back and it's not mate. <laughs> Oh, it's close. Uh, and then we promote the pawn here. Yeah, that's got to be right. Oh, and if they take this way, um, that matters, doesn't it? We can't always get things our way. Now where's the mate here? It's mate in one. What the fuck? Um... How could this be mate in one? If we move the silver, the king runs away. If we move the pawn, um, that traps the king, but it's not mate in one. Is this our first problem that goes beyond three moves? This, like, I don't see any other explanation. Uh, wait, no, okay, we can move the horse down here. So there's a mate in three and a mate in one here. We could promote. If we promote, they're forced to take it. And then we move the horse here. But that's not the fastest mate. Um, yeah, seemingly there's a mate in one and a mate in three here. Um, that's okay. Our goal was to mate in one in that position. All right. What is this problem? Rook two three, right? Just dumb rook sack. It's always a dumb rook sack. Not a lot of options. There we go. Um... Oh, well, we can't sack both of these pieces. So we have to sack one this turn, and the other drop will be mate. But how? If we sack on 4-3, then we're threatening this drop. No, we're not. Um, hmm. We drop on 3-3, three, three, because that's where all their pieces are targeting. Um, for the drop on 3-3 three, three to be effective after knight takes, we have to have a gold in hand so we can play gold 3-1. Um, so the drop on 3-3 three, three has to be a silver. If rook takes, um, gold drop 2-2. Two, two. If king takes, fuck, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, we're a gold drop there. There we go. Yeah. Nice. That was cool. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This problem. <laughs> oh man. This is cute and evil at the same time. There's no obvious candidate in my mind. Like we have all these bishop drops back here. If we drop the bishop on 5-3, uh, the king runs to 2-2 two, two, and then we just cry or something. Um... Or maybe the block on 4-2. Maybe. Yeah. So... Like, there would be an obvious candidate if I could force this to move away while sacking the bishop and the dragon. But I can only sacrifice one piece this turn. 
Oh, and it's going to be the bishop on 2 2, isn't it? King takes, then dragon 3 2 mate. If this takes, then yeah, we just mate directly. Okay. That's cute. Um. So, this is the focal point. This is where the sacrifice happens, because it's the focal point. Oh, this is interesting. Because this lance will be able to back up the rook. Yeah, gold drop. And then you're going to do rook takes, creating a battery. And another drop would be futile, because you have two pieces lined up, and you could do rook takes again. That's a weird shape. Um... Now what if we drop here and they just take our rook? Oh, then the horse. Okay, sure. Yeah, so... Alright. Well, we're kind of enjoying this now. But I'm also getting the sense I've seen some of these before. Um, could be imagining that. So, bishop drop, 4, 9, king here, and there's nothing. So, what else could it be? Wait. Oh, bishop drop on 4, 7, if dragon takes horse, 2, 8 would mate. Uh, are there alternatives to dragon takes here? Um, so there's king here. And that's not interesting enough, is it? Okay. Um... So what else? I don't see a focal point here. They have two lances. Like, there's not a whole lot of room for the opponent to make lots of possibilities here. Oh, wait. Okay, so our knight covers some good squares. Our silver covers some good squares square that's not covered between these three pieces is the one five square which could be covered by our horse if this damn lance weren't here so we move this here and do that all right um hmm Knight 2 3 promotion, king takes, bishop 4 6. Um, but what covers this square? That ain't me. Where is our mate? Where'd the mate go? There's supposed to be a mate here. So our silver covers these. Bishop and horse both cover this stuff here. These squares are not covered. So I wanted to move the horse or the knight out of the way so I could move this back to cover one three, but then this square's not covered. <laughs> so that wouldn't be mate in three. I mean, yeah, we could bring the horse the rook, the dragon over next to checkmate, but that ain't mate in three. Um, how do we mate in three here? Do we double check with this piece first? King runs, takes the horse, and then what? That seems unlikely. No, we move this back to five, five. They're giving them the option to take our dragon. Um, but if they do take the dragon, then somehow we have a mate here. 
That doesn't make sense. I mean, I want it to make sense. It's just not accurate. Oh, <laughs> Bishop 4-6, setting up a discover check. The king could escape to 3-3, but then the dragon mates it. All right. That's unusual. And then this is mate. All right. Well, we've attempted these problems for a bit over two hours. And there's at least a hundred more of these to go. So we're going to break here and uh, watch the rest of the participants uh, continue in the race. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.